Matthew chapter 4 we read about the temptation of Jesus and if we read these verses carefully we will be able to use the same strategy as Jesus used to drive devil out the first temptation was the tempter came to Jesus and said if you are the son of god tell these stones to become bread devil looked at the immediate need of Jesus Jesus was hungry at that time so what devil did he looked at his immediate need and he tried to use Jesus's immediate need in order to create doubts in his heart about his true identity devil still uses the same strategy he looks at our immediate need and then he tries to create doubts in our heart if we are child of god why god is not fulfilling our our immediate need why we are lacking in our lives in so many areas when we are a child of god so this is what devil does but we should be ready with the answer the way jesus was he said it is written man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of god so every time the tempter comes to take your true identity by using your immediate need as a tool when he's changing your focus from the word of god to your immediate need answer him the way jesus did tell him that my true possession my true identity is not made up of what i have but what i am become in christ what i have become in christ not what i have but what i have become in christ i am a child of most high god i am a new creation all these promised blessings belong to me if i don't see them today i am going to see them tomorrow for sure and devil will run away the second temptation when devil saw that he was not able to steal jesus is true identity he came and he said throw yourself down for it is written he will command his angels concerning you and they will lift you up in their hands so the tempter when he was not able to steal jesus is true identity he came and he tried to create doubt about god's commandment god's promises in jesus's heart but what did jesus do jesus used the word of god to drive devil out at that time we should be prepared with the word of god to drive devil out of our lives every time he comes to tempt us bible says that the word of god should dwell in your hearts in all its richness we should be ready and prepared with the word of god we should be ready and prepared with the sword of the living god the word of god that is alive and active so that when the tempter comes with half truth we will be able to drive him out with the full truth that is found in jesus christ our lord and savior fill your hearts up with the word of god bible says the word of god should dwell in your heart in all its richness we should meditate more on the word of god so that every time tempter comes we know how to answer him the third temptation was when devil saw that he was not able to steal jesus is true identity or create doubts about god's promises in his heart he said he showed jesus all the kingdoms of the world and the splendor and he said i will give it to you if you just bow down and worship me devil still tries to distract us he still tries to show us all the splendor of the world and he tells us all this belongs to me and i'm going to give it to you if only you worship me but we should answer him the way jesus did away from me satan for it is written worship the lord your god and serve him only we should be ready we should be standing firm in our faith the way the way shadrak meshak and abednego did when they were about to be thrown into the furnace of fire they told the king king we know our god he is alive if he is able to save us he is going to save us but even though he does not know for sure that we are not going to bow down before your statue so if you have this kind of faith this kind of love for the word of god god will send his holy angels to protect you from every trial every temptation and you will come out of it victoriously more than victorious in christ may the lord bless you